Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and it's cast time once again. Um, and, uh, so let me, uh, intro this music really quick. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that there's gonna be a few, there's gonna be some moving parts in this video, so get ready for some mistakes to be made. These, these casts are basically one take, so I don't, I don't rehearse, I don't practice or anything like that, I just turn the record button on and away I go, so... With, with some prop work, some prop work, but you get the idea. Anyway, the music I'll be playing is, uh, is, <laughs> is, Ahist versus Rita versus Action Choice. They are total unconvict album. You know, and it's, uh, but this is actually, it, it's a new, new type of black metal that I just now noticed. I have, uh, I have played this kind of music before in my casts and streams, but I just, I never really, never really thought much of it. It was just something, I, just something to play. Um, but I listened to, I listened to one. I don't remember which one it was. I'm mainly going with this one here because the thumbnail looks cool as hell. So, but this is raw black metal. Um, it's. I want to. Oh, how could I? How could I explain it? It's. Oh. God, that's so hard to explain. It's fake. It's I say fake dungeon synth. It, I think it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing here it's artificially made to sound like it's it was recorded in a basement, in like a concrete basement or something. Because I mean, this, I mean, this thing came out um, this sometime this year. I'm thinking like a few months ago. So it. So you, you kind of get the idea, but it's basically um, uh, basically fake dungeon synth is what I'd call it. So artificial ambience. So let's go ahead and get that going. And yeah, this music's gonna be a little bit rougher than what you're used to, but it's just what I'm in the mood for at the time. Um, uh, but to start with. Just played uh, played lots of gems of war. Um, I have uh, two main builds that I I have two main builds that I use. Um, I've just been uh, playing a lot of them, just trying to build trying to build up enough gold uh, for uh, for the uh, weekly reset that was this morning. I, I'm I'm talking I'm talking to me playing this last night. I'm um, just trying to build up enough gold to or build up as much as I can for this morning's reset, this morning's weekly reset. And this time, I actually remember to save that money for the reset this morning. It wasn't like last week. I pretty much blew my whole load and ended up broke. And, you know, like, and this is like, uh, this is on Sunday night. So I ended up messing that up. So. But, yeah, this time, this time around, I actually remember to save my money. So. I already contributed a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of money to the guild, so that'll that'll get me well out of that'll get me uh, well out of the red. So. Actually, let me look. Let me look at something real quick. Yeah, and um, I just remember too. Um, I recently got promoted in my guild. Yeah, I, I started off as Ash, went up to Rising Flames, and I'm now a Firebird, so move it up. Already made it. PJ, oh, PJ has already made a huge contribution. I guess while I'm here, hey, let me look, let me whoa, 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 let me look at something.
but otherwise, uh, for the most part, just... Just did mostly lazing around. Um, my lower back and my shoulders are still hurting a little bit from the work week. So just still kind of recovering from that. Watching, watching various shows that old stupid me I forgot to write down so I can't remember which one of them so I can remember which one which so I can remember what they were. And it, it seems English is my second language right now. But but like I said, um, This is like, this is like metal, yet not metal. But, uh, another thing I did is, um, I pulled a game out of the mothball, I pulled another game out of the mothballs. Um, it's one of my, I wouldn't really call, I wouldn't really call it a, a, a 2D fighter per se, but it's called One Finger Death Punch. And it's a game that's only played with two buttons kind of like dive kick and there's like a lot of things you can do with just two buttons on this game so like I said it's definitely one of my favorites so again I pulled that game pull that game out started playing it so but it, it it's getting to where with it's getting to where with that game I'm to where it just I played the crap out of it when I first got it but over time I just played it less and less and, um, I do need to do something here real quick. Preparation on my part, so um, let me go ahead and get this fixed. Okay. Okay, um, almost done. Almost done. Sorry about this. I guess well, at least try to enjoy the music. Not sure if this uh I'm not sure if this is anyone's cup of tea, but like I said, this is just what I was in the mood for at the time. Okay, but anyway, um And I also mentioned too uh, during my stream yesterday that uh, uh, December December seventh, I believe, is when it comes out. Um, I will be uh, I will be putting up uh, uh, gems of or, uh, putting gems of war on the shelf, and I'll be switching over to Final Fantasy fourteen, their new Endwalker expansion. So I have an up. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna work because I'm still liking gems of war right now. So I, I still I still want to play it to some extent, but it's been a long time since I actually played uh, Final Fantasy XIV too. It just when um uh, when it gets to be when it becomes a gear grind when uh when that game just it becomes like a gear treadmill where you're just doing dailies in order to collect enough uh, in-game currency to buy better gear. When it gets to that point, I start losing interest. And I'm sure this expansion here is going to be no exception. Okay. 
I hardly hear it. And on top of this, I think, um, and I think there was actually some, some really, really good timing on my part, too. Um, I actually put in for a vacation, like, um, December 15th, 16th, and 17th, but it actually got, it actually got rejected, rejected because, uh, no coverage, not enough, you know, not enough people to cover for me while I'm gone. So, what I just went ahead and did is I pushed it back, uh, a week earlier, like here, let me, let me pull up my calendar. I think I... Oh, 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 let me go down one. Let me go down one. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's now set for the 8th, 9th, and 10th of December. And, uh, the new expansion comes out on the 7th. So, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have plenty of time to actually play this game. So, but yeah, just as kind of a recap, um... As of the uh, 7th of December, um, Gems of War is going to be on the shelf. Um, I I won't be playing it except maybe sporadically or something. I But again, I still want to play it. I still like the game. But, it, but right now, Endwalker has taken higher priority. And also, for those that are kind of... Uh, for those that don't know, Final Fantasy XIV, The Lodestone, that's also the place where I post my blogs. So, actually, wasting a lot of time typing. Okay, some kind of went wrong there. There we go. Again, just. Some more bad preparation on my part. Just gotta wait for it to come up. Almost. But yeah, um, but yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, it, it, all, it also has a, a website called The Lodestone, where people post their blogs, and, um, and I've been posting blogs in here pretty much ever since I started playing the game, uh, I'd say probably four and a half, five years ago, so. But yeah, and, um. I also forgot to mention too that uh, I'm, as far as uh, how long I'm going to be playing, how long I'm going to be playing the new expansion, I'll, I want to at least complete the storyline, the the main storyline. But uh, thereafter, once I reach the end game, uh, I'll be pretty much at a crossroads. But again, if it gets to, if it gets to where it's just all I'm going to be doing is running dailies just to get better gear, then I'll probably end up killing it and I'll go on up. I'll go off and play something else. Um, Guild Wars 2 is also on the table. So I'll probably... Uh, and uh, Guild Wars 2, unlike Final Fantasy XIV, there is no... Uh, there is very little of a gear treadmill. Because uh, the, the best gear in that game, you can get from doing anything. It isn't like most other MMOs where... You can only get the best gear by by doing like the top tier raids, you know, the most difficult content in the game. That's where you get the best gear. Not in Guild Wars 2. You can get it with any doing anything. Um, you can do. You can just play solo doing open world open world content. I mean, you can get the best gear in the game doing that, or you can do. 
you can do it just doing nothing by PvP, or you know you can do it by doing nothing but running dungeons. But it just, but like I said, there, there's um, there's only like seven tiers. I think there's seven tiers of gear in that game. That's it. It, I mean, it isn't like most other MMOs where you probably have. You, you could probably have in the vicinity of a, a hundred different tiers of gear in that game. In those games, excuse me. So. So. so that, look, look for that in the future. And, um, another thing, another thing I did. Um, I bought a game called Guilty Gear XRD Revelator. Um, uh, just, it was, it was, um, uh, I just typed a name down in the search box just for the hell of it, thinking I might get lucky and yippers, sure did. So, I mean, otherwise, the, the otherwise it would have cost like between 40 to 50 bucks. I picked it up for like six and a half dollars, so made off like a bandit. I guess their uh, Steam was having a sale on a bunch of games and apparently this is one of them. Um... But yeah, I just, I played it for a little bit, um, did a brief tutorial, and actually, the the game Fantasy Strike, I think they patterned their tutorial off of, uh, off of this game's. Because uh, it isn't just, they don't just have you do a button check. I mean, you gotta, you gotta like, uh, you gotta like run and jump and pop balloons and you have to hit and some of the balloons in this game you can only hit with certain attacks and you have to do you have to pop a whole bunch of these balloons with the appropriate attacks in like 30 seconds or something like that I don't remember but it's a it's a pretty involving tutorial but it, like like I said um Fantasy Strike the very first 2D fighter that I picked up um in the past few years um actually has this kind of tutorial too so uh, they, they, like I said they patterned it on this game Guilty Gear XRD um, another little quirk. Whenever, um, whenever you complete a certain part of a tutorial, you have to actually attack your, your, you have to, you have to actually attack your training partner. Like, in Fantasy Strike, I was like, attack me to advance. Um, in Guilty Gear, they, they say pretty much the same thing in Japanese. Like, you know, punch me to advance to the next tutorial or something like that. So... So yeah, that was that was kind of cool, but um, as far as the uh, as far as the game itself, I'm only I just did a little, little bit of tutorial and then went over to training mode. Um, I for for those that for those that have played the game before, I started with a character named Potemkin. I guess he's the game's grappler. Uh, played him a little bit. I'm not a real big fan of him. I like, I mean, first, first off, I think, I think he only had him, and for the brief period of time, I played Zangief in Street Fighter 4, it's like, um, they only have basically one additional throw. Now, again, I only played Potemkin for a super brief period of time, though. I just went on training mode with him for a little while, but I think he only has, uh, he has one big super throw. Just like Zangief, I think he only has like the spinning pile driver, and that's it. Otherwise, he has the same throws that everybody else has. So I mean, to me, really not much of a grappler. I know, if I recall correctly, in Street Fighter Two, Zang Zangief in that game, he had four different throws. One of which you could do while crouching. It was a crouch throw. So he had a he had a pretty wide variety. Oh, and I'm a. I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea here. Just, just a second. But yeah, um, and I also forgot to mention too, I did try my hand at playing Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, but the problem with that game is one, it costs 60 bucks. That's a wee bit out of my price range there, so. And then on top of that, um, it, I think it uses up a lot of computer resources. Um, and I, when, when streaming it, I actually set the graphics settings to the lowest, and oh my god, it looks terrible. 
it looks all pixelated. And I think even then, it was still kind of laggy. So, so yeah, Guilty Gear Strive pretty much became a dull go and had to get a refund on it. But again, as far as for the gameplay itself, I couldn't really draw a concrete conclusion to it, but it seemed okay. And, and um, I don't, and I might try streaming guilt this game here, Guilty Gear XRD. Uh, but I don't, I don't know when. So, but like, like I said, I only bought guilt. It only cost me like six and a half bucks. Oh, and that it uses up uh, 11 gigabytes of hard drive space, so that's that's pretty hefty. Or for me, anyway. My, for those that don't know, my computer is basically a potato. So it's not very powerful. Um, granted, it's more powerful than the e-machine that I bought from Walmart. That was my original computer before using this one, the one I currently have. So... But um, otherwise, that's gonna do it for me, everyone. Um, I've pretty much said all the things I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>